Welcome back to Stuart Science. Here's another one take video for you. I wanted to just add on two really quick learning targets, things that are small learning targets, but they go right with chemical reactions. So the first one is products and reactants. This is pretty easy. I mentioned it already. Anything that goes into a reaction, any chemical that goes into a reaction is a reactant. So that's this side of the arrow, reactant. And this side would be a product. Think about it like products come out of a factory, so they come out of a reaction too. So products are what come out of a reaction. Reactants are the chemicals that go in to a reaction. So whatever's left of the arrow over here are your reactants. Whatever's right of the arrow over there are your products. The other learning target that goes with chemical reactions is endo and exothermic reactions. So endothermic, as we've talked about in class before, means energy is going in to our reaction. The ones we've talked about like that are boiling, because you have to put energy in to water to make it boiling, to make it boil, and melting, because you have to put energy in to ice cubes to make them melt. So those two are endothermic. And then if energy comes out of a reaction, it's exothermic. So the ones we talked about that take energy out of a reaction are condensing and freezing. So when we talk about it in a chemical reaction and not a state of change uh, type of situation, usually what you see is that endothermic reactions take in heat, which makes the temperature go down, usually. And exothermic reactions give off heat, which makes the temperature go up. So here I have a couple examples on uh, this board, so to speak, of exothermic reaction. Because you can see energy is on the product. So here I have some examples of exothermic reactions because energy is on the product side of the reaction. So you can see it's coming out of the reaction. We did one of these in class, and we'll do another one later. This one above, the first one, we put some aluminum foil in a blue liquid called copper chloride, and it made a, a big fizzing because it made the water get so hot that it boiled. So it gave off so much heat that it made the water boil. It got really, really hot. That's an exothermic reaction because energy is coming out, which usually makes the temperature go up. Anytime you burn something as an exothermic reaction, uh, anytime heat or energy comes out of the reaction, almost always the temperature goes up. That's exothermic. There are some examples where energy goes down. So if you've ever been hurt in a sporting event, usually they have what's called a cold pack, which is like a little chemical thing they pop on the side, and it makes an ice pack because that's an endothermic reaction where it takes in heat to make the reaction happen, which makes the temperature go down, usually. It's not always the case, but usually it's the case. So endothermic reactions take heat in, which usually makes the temperature go down. There's a reaction that we might do in class uh, where you take barium hydroxide and ammonium chloride, you mix them together, and it gets so cold that if you have it on a plank of wood with like a little drop of water underneath it, it'll actually freeze it to the wood. And I put a video up for that in school G as well. So that's an example of an endothermic reaction because it's taking in heat, usually that makes temperature go down. So again, these over here on the other side of the arrow are the reactants, I lied, are the products. Anything that goes in are the reactants. So another way to say this is that if energy is a reactant, it's endothermic. If energy is a product, it's exothermic. If energy is going in, it's a endothermic. If energy is coming out, energy is exiting, it's exothermic. Usually endothermic energy as a reactant, energy going in, energy over here makes the temperature go down. Energy on the other side, these kind of reactions, makes the temperature go up since it's a product of your reaction. As always, this is Mr. Stewart. Keep learning no matter what.